Well, I was young. I was probably about seven or eight. I was in a store that had religious articles. I took a small statue of the Blessed Virgin. I didn't have any money. So I took it home, and uh, that's when I realized I was wrong. Never taken anything since. <laughs> it's all on display right here. Well, the Cowboys need a miracle. Maybe that's why I named the Hail Mary Pass after that or something. to make up for it, but... <laughs> He actually said this in a run and turn and takeoff like he did a year before on Thanksgiving Day to beat the Redskins. But run it this time on the right side. Roger, he's going long. Now the near sideline for Drew Pearson. Pearson makes the catch at the five. Touchdown! What you believe in? Snowball hit Pearson on a 50-yard touchdown. So we win 17 to 14. And after the game, they just said to me, Roger, what were you thinking about when you threw the ball? And I, I just said, well, I, I closed my eyes and said, Hail Mary. I'm a Catholic kid from Cincinnati. Plus, Virgin th thinks a lot of me anyway. I got, got her on the map. And uh, <laughs> there's always a time in our life where we need a Hail Mary. Divine intervention is tough to beat. So were the Dallas Cowboys, with Roger Staubach at quarterback. I remember thinking, a dad is in control. Where he, the Cowboys are going to win this game. I mean, that's, I think, what the Dallas fans thought, but I, I believed it. It's an intangible. Yeah, you can't yeah. describe it because there's just something that he has. You no know, shooting a free throw. Like, right now, if, no you, said, if you asked us, it's your dad versus Kevin Durant in a free throw competition. For one shot, you have to make one. And if you don't, you lose a million dollars. Dad. We might take Dad. He told me the story. He was a ba when he was playing baseball, seventh, eighth grade. He was pitching, and it was a tight game. When you're the pitcher, that's pretty stressful up there. And uh, he said he got in the car afterwards with his dad. Dad said he said, um, "Did you like that?" And he said, "I loved it." And his dad said, "I would not like that pressure." The drives him. It makes him perform right. to a higher level, and it, and it's what made him so great. He is, by God, serious about competition. Roger told Bob Hayes one day that he, he said, I'm going to beat you on a 20-yard dash. And in the men's 100-meter dash, Bob Hayes equals the meet record set in 1958. When Mr. Hayes gets going, the X-15 couldn't catch him. They ran one, and Bob beat him, and they ran two, and Bob beat him. They ran five, and Bob beat him. And they ran ten, and Bob beat him. And after about the 30th one, he beat Bob. And that was the end. I remember one time we were having a little contest with a group of people were all around us, and he was going to shoot some free throws, and then I was going to shoot some free throws, and he started out, and he missed like uh, three of the first five, and then after he missed about the fourth one, which I thought we were counting, he said, uh, uh, okay, now I'm, I feel warm now, why don't you take a few warm-ups, and then we'll get started. And then, of course, when we got started, he hit 9 out of 10. You know, that's Roger. He's looking for an edge, but he's also doing everything he can not to get beat. In Roger's mind, he probably thinks he can still play today. I know he does. Thanks, memories, Roger. Yeah, I'll tell you what. I got my ankles tape. I'm ready. <laughs> Even today, 40 years removed from second Super Bowl loss to Pittsburgh, whenever I see Roger, he will immediately go to, you know, I think we can, if we played him again one more time today, we can we can beat them. Now, why don't we just get up like a you know a little touch football game and let's go out and let's see if we can beat them one more time. It is sort of playful, but then again, he's serious as cancer. For Stalbach, if you're going to play, you should find a way to win. Oh man, that's a nice throw right there. That was never more evident than late in games when his team needed a score. Roger has a statement that he likes to be surrounded by tea bags because they perform best when the water's the hottest. He's the kind of guy when you got in the huddle, you wanted to follow him. I mean, it's that simple. If he would have said, run down the street to the light post and turn left or right, we would have done that. Roger uh, brought out the hero in, in all of us. Got more out of the players he was playing with than anybody else. And that's another leadership quality where you get guys to perform up and above where they are normally capable of performing. We felt he was bigger than life. If there was something I wanted to emulate from Roger, it was really his leadership ability and his uh, way of inspiring his team. Regardless of whatever the score was, the Cowboys weren't out of it. In fact, not only did you think they weren't out of it, but you knew they were going to win the game.